Hey fan and welcome to the comic show. I'm Aaron. Triforce Mike. Yeah, and thanks for watching our video. We got it linked on Bleeding Cool, which oh, I'm yeah. totally pimping right now. Bleeding Cool I've loved through every incarnation, when it was um, the Silver Bullet, when it was uh, Lion in the Gutters on CBR, and now, you know, I I like rumors. I'm, I'm, I'm a total voyeuristic, weird dude. I mean, yeah. I like to watch. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, I love the creators, I love all the marketing people, but I just, I'm sorry, dude, if there's a TMZ for comics, I'm there. <laughs> all right, so, anyway. Thanks for putting it up, thanks for watching it, and you know it was about this where we ripped off this cover. Oh yeah. And you know, that it was awesome. mine, it's what I wanted to do, and you know, it was fun. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, and if you didn't enjoy it, you know, you don't enjoy anything, obviously, and you have no fun in your life, and it sucks to be you. Um, our avatar plug for the week is Super God. Super God. Uh, when we were at uh, Megacon, hanging out with David Marks, who's mm -hmm. their marketing director, we were like, where the hell is Super God? Where is it? We got all these people hooked on it, they want more God, and you know, it's... He said it was coming, and he did not lie. He didn't lie. So it's coming out number three this week, and Super God answers the question, what if God had superpowers? I mean, I've never heard that idea before. I, it's mind-blowing. It's amazing. And Warren Ellis, man. Yeah. Only Warren Ellis <laughs> to come up with these concepts. But in all honesty, I love it. Okay, Kick-Ass, why am I holding this? Because Mark Miller's not done. He's, He's not done. He's doing Nemesis. Nemesis number one comes out. It's like, wow. what if Batman was the Joker? What yes. if the Joker was Batman? Or what if Mark Miller did another awesome comic? <laughs> all right? I've read it, Mike's read it, oh we get advanced God. copies because we're journalists. Yeah, we're crazy. We're, yeah. we're journalists. Yeah. I have my fanboy cap, I have my businessman cap, I have yeah. my journalist cap, dude, I'm just like a basic ass hat. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we've read it, it's awesome, and where kick-ass makes you want to like flirt with the idea of being a hero, Nemesis definitely makes you want to flirt with the idea of being a villain. Yes. It's hardcore from the first page, I mean it's just oh super compressed, it's only four issues, and it's two ninety nine, and it's, you know, it's awesome. So I'm just going to breeze through these mainstream things, you know, yeah. mainstream, okay. So we got the Justice League Rise and Fall, it's Arsenal, he got his arm ripped off, Mike said it was... The worst hand job ever. Right, okay. So, you know, and blah blah blah, it's not a spoiler, it's on the cover. And if you read Cry for Justice, there's no way you don't want to know what is going on with Roy. Even if you didn't like Cry for Justice, you didn't like the writer, you want to boycott the writer, this is a different writer, yeah. alright? So. One guy takes away and the other guy gives. So we'll see how it goes. I want to see what happens to Roy. Penultimate issue of Blackest Night comes out. It has a uh, Sinistro, White Lantern, on the cover. Not a spoiler. Oh, not a spoiler. Trust Whitey. You know, white beats black every time. That's what I learned from Jeff Johns. All right. Deadpool is fun. Uh, Daniel White is fun. Hit Monkey is fun. Hit Monkey. If you like fun, come get Deadpool. And if you party with Daniel Way, I mean, come on. The dude sacrificed time out of his busy day to party with your sorry ass. Mm -hmm. And if you can't even buy his comic, you suck at life. All right. Now, Siege. Siege number one, a lot of people got. And it was great. I love Bendis. It was fun. It, it got a lot done, but it still had, and this is my opinion, had that uh, final page where it's like, oh, Steve Rogers is back, which was like the same thing for both annuals, the yeah. same thing in like everything. And everyone's like, oh, well. Anyway, number two, you need to come back for number two. Number two is a ripping good time, not like ripping covers off, right. but like ripping things, ripping. okay? And number three is out, it's only going to be four issues, and this is really changing the status quo. We already know the new status quo is going to be Heroic Age. It's going to be fun, it's going to be iconic, it's going to be everything you said you wanted, and you know, this stuff is kind of cathartic, okay? This is as dark as it can possibly get. And it's starting to brighten up. I mean, Norman, you know, he's, he's going to be taken out. You know, if you don't like Sentry, he's probably not going to be around. So, having said that, you know, Siege the day. And there's plenty of Siege books coming out this Wednesday. If you didn't get two or three or one, two or three, just come and get it. It's good. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Uh, beyond that, we've got a new, um, new uh, Northlanders, which yeah. is Red Snow. I like Northlanders. Uh, we got Ultimate Spider-Man, we got Cap Reborn, we got Deadpool Suicide Kings, and we have Haunt, which is uh, McFarlane and uh, Kirkman, and it answers the question is, uh, what if Venom was uh, Spawn? Spawn. Yeah, it's a lot like Nemesis, you know, what yeah. if Batman was a Joker, this is what if Venom was Spawn. What if Venom was Spawn. So thanks guys, thanks Rich Johnson, thanks Bleeding Cool, and um, watch our videos, we'll try to be funnier. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.